Hello. So we are back here. This time we have a customer job. What do we have here? We have a nice laptop. You know how nice it is? It's exactly the same model, if you remember, the one with that tricky fault with the with the main power supply, if you remember a few days ago. Anyway, the problem with this one is dead. Okay? Great. Uh, let's plug the charger and try to figure it out. So, plug in the charger. Oh, that's not a charger. Wait, I have too much current here. The laptop is short, as you can see the voltage is going down to 3.3 .3 and... You know what? This is strange. Because this laptop main power well, is not after the two MOSFETs. See, after the two MOSFETs, you have a power supply, which is supplying the main power rail. Well. So this it will be interesting to see what is shorter. The voltage gear dropped to 3.3. That's mean the short is not on the charging port. It's after, after the first two MOSFETs. But like how I said, after the first two MOSFETs, you have that uh, power supply, which gave me a headache. You remember a few days ago. Let's open this and have a look. Okay, so the laptop is open and I take my words back. Actually, it's not that laptop. This is liquid. This is liquid. So check here. So those things, yeah, like, like drops, is liquid. But it's only here. That, that's what is strange. I mean, I cannot see on the board. I can see here, 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 and yeah, I can clearly see, you see some sweet uh, liquid which came from the back. I mean, that can explain why this laptop is not working. So, uh, what do we know about this laptop? We know the board is shorted. Uh, the main power rail, let's check the main power rail. Uh, can you spot? Yeah, probably here is the, probably here is shorted. It is, yeah, zero ohms. I mean, I can see the, that capacitor are like black. I mean, check that, check those capacitors. Oh, lol, check that. Yeah. The EC chip looks fine. The EC chip looks fine. But here everything is looking bad. Okay, let's clean quickly. I don't think we can clean with alcohol, but we can try. I think here has to be water. No, I cannot clean with alcohol. So this is alcohol. And we cannot get the board clean, yeah? Let me grab some water. Okay, so I got some water. Let's try with water. Ah, with water is a different story, right? Because the sugar is getting dissolved in water, but not in alcohol. You understand? Yeah, that's the reason why when you have sweet liquid on the motherboard, uh, you should clean with water. And that's something what I learned from my chat, because I didn't know that. I always try, you know, with alcohol, and it was like a hard job. Yeah, but looks there, you know, it's like, like new, you can see. Now, if we are drying the area, Look that chip, you see? This chip, yeah. So this laptop is same like that one, but just the board is different. Okay, so we dry the board. Let's check the board to be sure we don't have... Yeah, here we have some liquid damage. What is that? Yeah, it's water on my uh, earbud. Good. I 
I mean, otherwise the board is looking good. Yeah, it's looking fine. So, what do we have to do now? Now, we have to find the short. I mean, we clean it, but that didn't solve the problem. So if we are plugging the charger, it's still short. You can see. So let's grab the thermal camera. And let's come with the power supply. Let's lower the voltage. So we need a ground from somewhere. Yeah, that's good. And we are coming with the current here. And here is zero, yeah, okay. And here is, yeah, here. Let's raise the current because the short resist, the short is very short. 2.5 amps. And check that, yeah. I mean, you can clearly see is the second capacitor. Hmm? No, it's not the second. One second. It's the first one. Yes, yeah, the first capacitor. Wow. Okay, let's remove that capacitor quickly. Oh, the capacitor goes inside of the laptop. Yeah, that's the one. So we remove the short, that means the laptop it will work. That's actually a very good question and I want to know also. Let's plug the charger, let's raise the voltage to 19 volts. Yeah. Some current there. Plug in the charger. It's taking 20 milliamps, 10, 20 milliamps, which is fine. It's not charging, which is not fine. And nothing is dead, right? Let's press the power button. Lol, the battery. So pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on. 900 milliamps, check there. One amp. Let's wait because... Uh, we reset the BIOS, I mean, we took out the battery, the battery just fell down. Five hundred milliamps. The fan is spinning, the CPU is warm. We have picture, I can't believe, actually the laptop is working. Enter restart. Now my concern is why the laptop is not charging. Hmm? Yeah, boot device not found, and that's fine. Okay, let's power off. Uh, the problem is why the battery is not charging. So the battery is plugged in. Plug in the charger. It's taking 20 milliamps, 50 milliamps. 80, 120, okay, so the battery is just low. Ha ha. 120 milliamps. Okay, let's help the battery with the, with the power supply. Ah, oh, no, sorry, it's no point. 2.3 amps, you can see it's charging fine. And we have the charging light here. Everything is fine. 2.4 amps. You know what is strange for me? It's strange because, I mean, you are the manufacturer. Why the manufacturer didn't use something like that on the whole area? I mean, so you can protect against the, the liquid drops or water drops. I mean, check here, yeah, you see this area? So this area, it is protected. And I can see here, you can see it's sticky. Look here, here is sticky, but didn't go on the board. Why they didn't use those things like all around? So on that point, it will be protected. Huh? Why they didn't do it?
Yeah. Okay, let me put back the... I don't know why the screws are under the battery here. The capacitor, the capa no, we're not going to replace the capacitor on this video. That's that's more complicated. Maybe on a, on a different video. I mean, you know, there are how many capacitors? There are like three capacitors left. Yeah, you're right. All three capacitors are damaged. But that's the point, yeah? I mean... That's rude. I mean, to do a job on a, on a, on a such a way, you don't want to see that customer anymore. That's rude. So we want to see the customers back. It's nice, you know? Right? <laughs> you know, if you do the job, if you, if you do the job too good, you'll never see that, that customer and... Uh, you know, you'll feel sorry. I mean, why you should keep the people away from you? You know, you don't have some mental issues. So, uh, yeah. We want to see the customer back again. So, one more time, plug in the charger. Of course, I'm just joking. You know what I mean. But no, that capacitor will be fine, yeah. We just want to go shorter than we clean with water. What can go wrong with electronics and water? <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, all good, all good, all good. So I'll stop now. This was pretty simple job if you have this laptop. You see now where is the main power supply is there with that chip. And yeah, in a case of liquid damage, only there can be liquid damage because, you know, half of this is fine. But the other half is not that fine. Okay. Just a short video. Just a short video. So I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you next time. Bye.